Something you're gonna find in just about any police car out there, regardless of manufacturer, is a large round dome lamp uh, right up there on the headliner. In this police interceptor utility, I happen to have two. This is the rear one, and there's a front one. If you're like me, you want to change this out because it just looks really obvious that this came from a police car and that uh, it's just big, bulky, doesn't look factory at all. So I wanted to come up with something that was a little bit more low profile and factory looking. And so I've come up with a couple of options. And so I've got the single LED and the double LED. And really, depending on what kind of cutout you have for your lamp depends on which option you might want to go with. So first off, we need to decide what size cutout is holding this lamp in. Now, the way that these lamps are fastened in, there's no bolts or anything. They just have these metal brackets that create tension on the headliner, and so they can just slide off. Um, so this one I happen to know is pointing straight forward and backward. So I'm gonna pull it back and then pivot it up a little bit and slide it out. And there we have our lamp there. Now there is just a simple plug on the back side, which I'll show you real quick. This is what you're gonna find on the back side of your headliner. Um, it's just gonna be the two wires going into a you know two terminal plug, very simple. Now I've already dropped this headliner and pulled it completely out of the vehicle, um, but you shouldn't need to do that. At the very worst, you may need to pull some of the trim around the edges of your headliner and then drop it down just enough that you can wiggle your hand in here to unplug this wire. So it's just as simple as depressing that little green tab or whatever style yours is, and then pulling it back through this hole. So after removing our plug, we can go ahead and bring in our new light, and it has the exact same style tabs. And so what I would recommend doing is if you don't wanna use this light anymore, you don't have any plans to sell it or anything like that, Go ahead and take cutters and cut this harness off and then splice in the pigtail to these wires so that you don't have to do any wiring on the um, harness on the back side here. If you don't want to cannibalize your, uh, your old ticket light, you can just run some longer leads and then go and hook them into the plug back there. Uh, cut off that plug and splice them in. But uh, in this instance, I'll just be using the plug. Now that we've got it all wired up, all we need to do is the reverse procedure uh, that we did to remove it. So we will flip this guy upside down and then find the slot, push down on the front and then slide all the way forward. Now you have a more low profile and a skinnier light that has a little bit more of a factory finish to it and just a standard on off light and that's gonna operate just like the other light did. On the front dome light, you'll find a lot of times that they cut the mounting slit kind of more diagonally rather than straight front and back like they did in the rear uh, light. Because they've cut this slot at a weird angle, it doesn't really allow us to use this same light or else it would be at a you know that same strange angle. Or if we adjusted the bracket to sit it front and backwards, we'd be left with these awkward holes on the side. So instead, our only real option is to use a similar light, but in a double formation. So we have the double wide here. This is two independent lights with their own switches. Um, it's a little bit more awkward to install because you have two sets of wires coming out now. But all you're going to do is exactly the same as you, did, as you did in the rear lamp. You'll take these two and splice them together. And then you'll take these two and splice them together and then hook them up to the pigtail that we pulled off of the uh, original lamp or run your own wires and then cut off the plugs back there. One thing I definitely would recommend doing for this front light is while you're getting it all wired up, make sure you put some sort of a shielding or sheathing or electrical tape, whatever, uh, to protect the wires because they are relatively thin and we're going to have to be turning them and they'll be hitting some of these edges when we get it set to the right position. So now we're gonna line up this arm with this slot and then we're just gonna push in and twist and then get it right in the angle and the position where it's gonna fit best. And it should hold on just about as tight as the original light did as well. So now that we've got that mounted up, we've got our two LEDs. Now, 
each of these pull about 0.6 amps. So when they're on at the same time, they're going to pull about 1.2 amps. Just keep that in mind if you do decide to run an inline fuse or anything like that. So they don't pull very much and they have a ton of light output and they give you a much more sleek uh, design when compared to the original lamp. Both of these dome lamp assemblies can be purchased on my website at 3dub200.com. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you can go check it out. I have a lot of other good police vehicle parts as well. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.